Hey guys, this is Game of Cowboy to another Toho Lost Branch of Legend playthrough. We're on version 1.3.15 now, it's another major update. So let's do another video, a little bit of a different take on things this time. Hopefully we'll be able to make this one work out. I'm not very good at doing stuff in this style for this game because there's a lot of decision making stuff and I'm not always the most precise with the mouse either, I'll be honest. But we'll make it work anyway. So what's new in this version? Well, we have the music room stuff to show the new song for Cherno, if you go for her boss theme. And there's a new one for Sager as well down the bottom. Gotta be honest, this is the first time I'm like not a huge fan of either of these. This is a demo for the song, but it's going to be kind of that way anyway. And I think it's mostly just because I'm not really a big fan of the bass song for Sager's one. The other thing that we have is achievements. So this is the major part of this update that's been added in. We technically have done this one, but it was on a set seed, so it does not count for the achievements. Did not think that was going to apply retroactively, but that's pretty fun to, to know that it did. So I'm going to have to do an actual Lunatic Saki run at some point. Boo, hiss, etc. But the rest of this, we've got some, some fun stuff. You know, the usual, like, defeat the bosses thing. I haven't gotten all of these because they can't apply retroactively, but, you know, that's okay. We've got a couple of bosses still to, to fight. Things like have a massive amount of the same color mana. We have done most of them in the past, but obviously uh, not counting for the thing. We did this one with Cherno, actually, the result with five different types of mana in the base. We actually did do that one, so. But then you get some, I guess, more character-specific type ones here as well, like have a thousand points of parrier, which is just absolutely insane. Do a hundred damage with Ying Yang Orbs, and that's kind of cool, I suppose. 200 time pulse is, is, is just wild, to be honest. Some of these are very, very silly. But we also do have some some other fun ones down here, you know, like don't spend any money, win with one life remaining. I have actually done that in the past as well, but uh, yeah, you know, retroactive stuff. And then some silly things like die to Rumia, get a cookie from the back door, which is very funny, the life loss one to gain benefit things. If you get the cookie for as exhibit from that, your life gets recovered back to full. So, I don't know if there's a specific text for that, but it'd be pretty funny. Um, sell the ball, I've done this one as well, sell the ball of wings to Renosuke, etc. And then some really weird ones, like, have less than, <laughs> no one at 8 cards in the library? You start with 10, so, you know, you gotta remove cards for that, and, you know, basic shit. But, the main thing that I want to go for is, technically I've done this like three times now, but the speedrun one. So, yeah, I'm not very good at speedrunning a game like this, obviously, but resolve the instant within 60 minutes. Beating Sager as well, I don't know if that is fully required at the moment, that might have been a bug, but I think there has just been a recent sort of hot pixie type patch, so maybe that is like genuine at this point. Doesn't really matter, I've done it twice, but it's, it's not really my forte, so... Let's see if we can handle it. Best I've done is like 37 minutes or something at the moment, which is great, but very unlikely to happen again, I think. So, let's just go for it, see what we can do. Now, it does track real time, I have uh, noted that, so we do want to be as quick as we can with it, so forgive me if I don't actually like speak too much about what is actually happening on a lot of the parts here. Because we just kind of got to go fast and see what we can achieve. I do not have the mana for that. Probably should have just used a laser then because it would have actually got some damage out. That is already failing, which is fantastic. But uh, it's fine. We'll make it work. I uh, want to make sure, I guess, just optimally want to make sure that we use the red mana. Probably doesn't matter too much here, but it is just one of those moments where you really should try and make sure that you do the right thing with it. And, uh, yeah, that is just how it goes. So, we'll, we'll shoot. I should have shot him as well, because it would have gotten the grace point away. Already making tons of mistakes off it, but that is fine. We will survive and just get it going, yeah. Clicking the end turn button is actually kind of annoying with it as well, because it's behind the cards and stuff, so I often just, like, miss where it is. So, yeah. Ah, uh, he's gonna die to the, the thing, that's good. 
So yeah, we're taking more turns than we really should have off of it. Take speed duel, that is very nice. We want to get into burst mode as often as possible, so that is a pretty solid one to, to play. And we'll... I don't know why I even used it there, to be honest. I should have just shot it, but I didn't. So I guess we will have to live with that. Not too much to do otherwise with it. I probably, again, should optimize the mana a little bit by using the... Uh, red mana for our stuff, but I don't think it's gonna matter too much anyway to be honest Not too much to do from that turn either. I couldn't have taken her out because she had like 30 health or so So yeah, it's uh, fine because laser is just gonna take her out anyway So there we go All right, what else can we get? We need some good card stuff here. Asteroid belt is really good. Definitely take that Probably want to try and maximize the amount of events that we get here. I'm not sure if the lighter is actually better than the barrier here. I just really like the barrier, to be honest. And upgrade speed duel. So it costs zero. That is pretty much what we want. As far as who we're fighting here, don't really care. I guess it's Cherno that we're fighting. Just want the extra power here, really. This is a bad fight to get. I might actually go ahead and just take the bribe here. We'll see. Because there's not a lot of good that comes out of this fight. Because you are just way too annoying. So, uh, yeah, probably will actually just go ahead and take it. I don't like spending the money on it, but I, I, I'm not using that money. Hey, she ran away. It's like, yeah, uh, she cost me, like, a lot, but it's fine. Red Star Explosion is AoE. So we'll go with that. Transform a card, huh? Uh, definitely don't transform that one. Probably just uh, transform one of these ones. Uh, Devoured Desires is really bad, though. Okay, unfortunate, but such is the way. Upgrade the Asteroid Belt so it hits three times. And uh, see what we can do from here. Uh, not a lot to begin with, to be honest. I'm going to go for this so I can get more charge off of it here. I am taking some damage, kind of intentionally almost here. Probably should have been using that on Luna, to be honest, because she's, uh, yeah, going to actually like hit us next turn as well, so probably taking quite a bit of damage here. But, ah, we didn't even get red uh, the explosion either, that's unfortunate. Uh, let's just go for defense then. Eat the stuff as well. Oh, we do get to eat one of the refractive sunlights, it's pretty good. Got rid of a couple of defense cards there, which is maybe less good, but we'll be fine. Uh, Alright, Red Star Explosion, go! Get some good damage out. That's the main thing with it, though. And we can probably not take them out here, because we are not we don't have another AoE. But, I mean, wow, Flammable Laser is a really good way of doing that, actually. So, yeah, alright. Boom. Clear the fight. Without even taking that much damage either, which is pretty good. Uh, just a knife gets our basic attacks up, which is good. Uh, Light the Furnace is pretty strong for later, so we'll take that because we are on the charge mechanic, so that's pretty strong. Alright, another one that takes a fair bit to get through, but we'll probably be fine. Speed Duel's a really good thing to have to begin with here because it just gives you extra light, you know, it's a red card, so if you get more Asteroid Belts, then we'll just get better charge out of it, which is pretty nice. Um, uh, flammables probably good. So we'll just do that and then block as much as we can. It's not amazing, but it is what, so what we have to deal with right now. And uh, don't really want to use Red Star Explosion. Light the Furnace will give us the max power here, so we can go for that. And uh, 36 is pretty strong, so I heard. So, yeah, go for that. Alright, what else can we add? We can not really care about much of that, to be honest. Rainbow Star Blast is probably fine, but we don't have the thing for it. This is the Floppy Dog, it's Thomas. I'm a wolf. Ah. Uh, we're not, I don't want the extra like dead card, basically. That's why I've just denied her there. As much as it is kind of nice to, to have around. Uh, the exhibit is good, but the, the dead card, really not so much here. Uh, speaking of dead cards, this hand is really bad. So we're just going to have to move on from that. Uh, this seems like it's going to be a smart turn, to be honest with you. That's uh, kind of unfortunate. 
because uh, we're not going to get a whole lot out of it otherwise. So let's just spark. Gonna take a bit of damage, gonna force her to graze instead of attacking me. So I guess there's that. You're too cool. And uh, yeah, not much I can do otherwise. So just have to move on. So, where do we go, where do we go, where do we go? Uh, I think we do this, so we can go into burst mode. And then from there, we can shoot an flammable laser to take her out. Yeah. Okay, good stuff. Uh, could have worked the other way around as well. Leaky Ladle kind of makes me want to take some skills here, but we haven't quite gone there yet. Um, yeah, let's do that one. Alright, Cherno, what do you got? So, we can actually hear the, the full song and stuff here as well now, I guess, which is not too bad. Uh, do that one into Asteroid. Asteroid gets us more charge, that's pretty much the reason here. So we're gonna take a little bit of damage, but we still got quite a bit of health, so it's not the end of the world here. Uh, speed duel is decent, and that's about all that we have that's good, so let's just do that. Uh, see where we go from there. Mana freeze could obviously be annoying later on, but it's fine. Let's go... Exile? Oh, we exiled Asteroid Bell, that's pretty annoying. Uh, alright, whatever. Power ourselves up a bit and go laser! Because that's what Marissa does, she does lasers. Uh, alright. Not much else to really do from it from there, but that's fine. We still got a decent bit of damage out. And we do have the barrier now as well, which is good. Uh, again, not really a great sort of turn for it here, but... Oh, use the, use the right one. Oh my god, come on. I know why it's been awkward that way, but it's still just like, please use the right card. Come on. Do, do your job. Uh, alright, we can, have we got three, so we can go that and that. Taking 22 here, but we've still got enough health, so I don't think it's that big of a deal. The real part, the annoyance is that I don't have Asteroid Bell now, so... That's, that's where the sort of pain point comes in here, but again, I think we'll be fine. Because this still does more than enough, yeah, so... Good! Nice and fast, that's what we like. Alright, what do we got? What do we got? What do we got? Uh, red. Because accurate is really... Oh, radioactive elements? I have to go for that. I can't. I can't not. Alright, Yuko that we're fighting here. So we might get some potion synergy stuff going on with this. That would be really nice. I think that's what I've got to try and build into now, to be honest. Because, uh, yeah. I mean, we just got the, the skill for it, right? So, kind of have to try and build for it. Radioactive elements is absolutely insane, so... No way I'm not, like, going for that, right? Uh, anyway, we can get a bunch of charge going here, which is fine. Radioactive Elements is a bit too expensive when it's not upgraded, so that's why I'm not doing it immediately. And, uh, yeah, I guess we're, we're probably fine here. Do that one. I suppose it's going to have to be, like, largely block. Uh, oh, I did not realize I was in that, right? Okay, never mind. Didn't realize I got into burst that quickly. That's fine. Uh, what do we got? What do we got? Too big to fail plus? Oh, but Full Moon Howl is uh, is too strong not to take. Ooh, Junko? Uh, no, this feels bad, but I guess I've done it anyway. No, we're restarting that. I don't think restarting matters for the, the run stuff, so uh, we can't, can't give up the red mana here. Because the red mana is what we use to get charged, so even though I want more mana, it's like, that's just not happening. Anyway, get ourselves a barrier up for a little bit later, and uh, protect ourselves the next turn, basically. Let's see what we can do from here. Speed duel, asteroid belt is really nice. Uh, doesn't quite get us there, but red star explosion is also really strong, so we'll do that. And uh, end at that. Taking four here? That's not too bad considering we should win this turn. Uh, we've got Light the Furnace for getting up. Ah, it doesn't quite make it, but that's fine because we can do that. I should have done Full Moon Hell probably, but it doesn't really matter because Speed Door gives us stuff anyhow. 
Right, what can we do? What can we do? What can we do? Uh, ooh, bar materials is probably good. And I don't want to go for the elite here, to be honest. I kind of messed up my pathing, but it's fine. Uh, that one into this. Into defense. Spark is not going to kill them in the first turn, so whatever. Yeah, I should not be fighting the elite here. I really should have been going for upgrade, but I messed up. And uh, now we just got to live with it. It's fine. Spark this turn as well, so we can get the... Uh, get one of them down. And also hit whilst vulnerable, so we get a decent bit of damage out. Firepower down by two, huh? Uh, I mean, well, this, this kind of helps. Do that, do that. Go here. And rainbow again, so we can red star. And do that. Forgot about Leaky Ladle, but I don't think it would... No, it wouldn't matter, because I could have gone Light the Furnace there. Uh, yeah, so I probably should have considered that a bit more. I uh, would go Light the Furnace here, though. So we get a power up. Go Full Moon Howl. Uh, Red Star. And uh, we only have one shot. Uh, this is uh, 23. So it's pretty close. Probably could have just blocked instead. But, you know. We're fine. We're, fa we're facing Yuko at the end of this one. I also probably should have devoured Desires there as well, just to get healing. But uh, we're fighting Yuko at the end of this one, so we should be okay. Computer parts don't really do anything. Uh, Shade is pretty good. Like, yeah, it's junk cards for later as well, but uh, right now it's going to be very helpful for the defense. Uh, what do we want here? Okay. We need to upgrade radioactive elements. That is the, the main sort of bit here. Uh, borrow. So we'll do that. Full moon. Radioactive. And then we do have enough mana. So we can go red star. All of our attacks are accurate. I do need to keep that in mind because of the gun mirror. So that is something to, to note. We don't have a lot of mana for this turn, but that's okay. Because we can go here, and we can go here. So take out those two. 47 to, to deal with now, not like the end of the world. Uh, flammable laser into this should be enough. Uh, Light the Furnace would have been really good too, but laser into belt already did the kill, so it wasn't that important. Alright, what else we got? More Asteroid Belt. Yes, we will take. Uh, nope. Because I do not want the... I do not want the thing. The, uh, the misfortune to happen. Upgrade Radioactive. Next time we're probably going to upgrade Asteroid Belt. There's an achievement for not getting hit by the, uh, by Yomu, like, whatsoever. As a thing which is pretty interesting, but we're just not going to be able to do that just now, unfortunately. Not much to, to do on that opening turn, bit of a shame, but it's fine. Um, light the Furnace into Asteroid, I think, has got to be the play here. Because it, uh, well, it does get us into Burst, so I guess there's that, but unfortunately, because of the last card I played not being a red card, it was uh, not possible to do Asteroid Belt, like, well, I guess is probably the way to, to thing it. It's all good. So we're going to take a point of damage here. Again, not really too concerned at that. This turn might be a little bit dangerous, I guess, but we have Howl, so do that into Red Star. We could Spark to finish her off, but I don't think it's necessary. Like, maybe, I mean, it's saving 14 damage, so I guess you could argue it was necessary, but... Eh... I think we're okay. Yeah, and we've still got a decent amount of health here. Uh, we're getting the Dongo as well, which is quite nice. Product of failure. I mean, I'll take it because uh, apart from being pre-upgraded, that helps. Uh, Pagoda. Well, I guess that's going to weed up our upgrades then. Uh, let's go sort that. I should have taken the event one. Doesn't matter. Uh, we'll, we'll make do. Here into Asteroid. 
I should have done the other asteroid. What am I? What am I thinking with that? I don't know. That was very silly. Whatever. We'll uh, we'll do the damage that we can here, I guess. Really should have done the other one because I would have gotten an extra charge point. So that was very silly. Oh well. Uh, Red Star is pretty good here, though. Let's just go for that. And uh, we want to defend a little bit and then do damage here. We want to make sure that we don't, like, kill this one first because of the massive damage that we would incur because of that. Uh, speed duel, radioactive. Kill her, and then laser should do the job here. Yep. Maximum firepower at all times. That is the Marissa way. Alright, what have we got? What have we got? We have got another flammable laser. I guess that's probably fine. Yeah, really shouldn't have been fighting both of these, but it's not that big of a deal, I guess. Uh, go there into that. Need to do shade because we need the block here. And um, don't have enough for that, so we'll go for that. Probably shouldn't have been hitting the other one because it's going to purify here, but eh. Not the end of the world. So from here, we want to speed duel. Oh, I messed up the positioning. Ah, god damn, I needed to do it the other way around. It's fine. Do that. Do that. And then just block for the rest of it. Yeah, I should have had the extra charge here. Because I, I just did things in the wrong order. I needed to use the rainbow first. Forgot how much of my stuff got purified there. Uh, speaking of, let's go radioactive. I should have done full moon howl first, probably. Because, yeah. <laughs> but, <laughs> whatever. Uh, Leaky Ladle's going to help out because now we've got Red Star. Alright. Completely scuffed and probably taken more effort than it should have. Could have done Devourer there as well, but whatever. Uh, keyboard solo, why not? Uh, let's get our collects. And move on. So I want to get the collect because we need more mana at the start of the fight, basically. <laughs> so do that. Speed duel. Uh, that's probably about it. I, don't know. I actually should not have played that anyway. Because now if I draw Asteroid Belt, that wasn't... Yeah, it wasn't the last thing I played. So uh, that was also pretty silly. But it's okay. We will we will eventually learn, right? Like, that is, that is the, the hope. Alright. Taking a lot of damage, but such is life. I think we're still fine. Yuyuko's not like that ridiculous, to be honest. Uh, keyboard solo. Ooh, okay. Uh, let's go products into radioactive. Into asteroid. That gets us enough charge. So we go blip. And blip, and then you lose to this. Yeah, deck has got a lot of firepower at the moment, and I think this is arguably the fastest like you, uh, archetype to go for. I don't really care enough for those. The Scry 7 is probably pretty good, but I think Scry is just going to be too uh, detrimental for me. I'm gonna want, I'm gonna end up like thinking too much about it, so rather than just like playing. So yeah, uh, let's go product first. So I can go keyboard solo. Ooh, into radioactive is really good. Into asteroid to finish the turn. So we have five charge, which is really good. We played red as the last card as well. So if we draw the other asteroid, that'd be really nice. Uh, we do have like the furnace is pretty strong. Unfortunately, no like cards to play with it, but Master Spark is still a good one. And we can just defend with the rest of it, right? Don't really need to play Devour Desire, uh, the thingy here. I really don't want to accidentally exile like one of my important cards either, so we're just not going to. It could just exile shades and stuff, and that'd be great, but there is always the chance that it does something very, very bad for me, so we just won't. Alright, up to six charge as well. We've got Borrow on deck. I need to upgrade Borrow as well, actually, because the 
uh, two overdraft is really kind of painful. Uh, right, speed duel into asteroid. And from there, I think we should probably just have this go vulnerable. That. And yeah, she's dead. Cool. Really good fast run there. Uh, Bottled Soul is probably fine. We don't get any more sparks. But we do, uh, I guess, we do get our extra... Oh, Junko. Oh, Junko's going to make me think. That's that's not great. Uh, <laughs> all right. We don't get any more bombs, but we do get money. I haven't actually gone to a shop yet, so I suppose... Oh, I suppose that could be something to, like, consider here. Uh, I don't know exactly how... I did that in the wrong order as well. Not really much to do with that opening turn, which has been unfortunate. Yeah, I've got to consider, like, mana situations, I guess, now with it, which is a bit awkward, but we're fine. Uh, do that into keyboard, into... Oh, I can't play radioactive. First do that into radioactive. I don't have enough space! Ah, messing up all over the place with this here. Yikes. Okay. Um, I guess we'll... Do that this turn as well. That looks really poor. Yeah, because I didn't have enough space to play down the thing with it. I should have used radioactive first, uh, like second even. But okay. Uh, gain the block. Go here. So this will take you out. Could have done that with getting a charge point as well. I should have done that in the other order. Just messing up absolutely everything. We do get the potion and stuff, so we're just like, we're fine anyway. But it's just, yeah, it really should be a little bit more considerate with some of the stuff here. Which is Crucible's probably pretty good for us here, to be honest. Get some more potion stuff going. I don't really care for that too much. Let's keep it on moving. Uh, AoE is really nice here, but I don't think I want to burn a Master Spark on this fight. Uh, we could, though, because Spark plus Full Moon just gets it out of the way. Yeah, we will. Don't know if I like doing that, to be honest, but it just clears the fight, and the rest of this is not looking great. So, yeah, we'll just do that. And go Craft Potion. Oh, Angel's Dream is also really good. I probably could have taken that, but it's fine. Alright, what do you want? Uh, Radioactive Elements is not something I want to get rid of, but... I would like Open Universe, please. That card is really good. So we'll do that. And then we want a shop this time, so let's go down this way. Because I have a lot of mons to spend, and the shop is really nice. So we will do exactly that. Uh, not really much else I want to do with this turn, but I guess we'll do that. And, uh, yeah, I guess I need to defend a little bit more. Alright. So I guess one nice thing, I do have the potential to get a little bit of power back here and there. Uh, I don't know if it's going to be enough, to be honest, but we can try. Uh, oh, right, so, what do we, oh, I only have red. Uh, let's just go for this then. And this to take her out, which is good. Uh, gain a barrier and shoot to take you out. Probably could have taken the other one out because it's going to inflict weaken here. But yeah, every time I use three attack cards in a turn, I gain ten fire, uh, ten power back. So there is still a shot that I can get my, uh, I can get my power for getting another bomb here. I just need to attack multiple times in the turn, which, let's be honest, is what I'm doing anyway. Uh, uh, gain power, I guess. And uh, leave, because I really don't want to lose any more health than that. Right, what do you got? What do you got? What do you got? Uh, amulet, probably fine. Uh, asteroid belt, again, is probably good. Just get as many of them as we can. Get an emergency block. Draw two extra cards to start with is really good. Let's get a card upgrade for Open Universe, because that'll cost nothing if we do. Gain our extra mana, uh, play status, and whenever status is drawn, gain, uh, gain that, and that'll do. I have to uh, get some more stuff in a little bit. Shiki does have new animations and stuff as well, 
So uh, she is now complete. Points the finger at you. How fantastic! Uh, right. Yeah, gaining extra card draw at the start as well as the, you know, with our setup here is really nice. Open universe on radioactive is absolutely perfect. So we will do that. Gain our bonus stuff. And then burst mode. And laser. And Asteroid gets a FTK almost, which is really fun. Do that and uh, exile one of them, why not? Seems pretty strong. Do take a little bit of damage here, so maybe I could have devoured as well, but that's fine. Boop. <laughs> and that's into burst mode again, which is really nice. So we can go laser, belts, belts. And that's enough to get the two-turn kill. Alright, deck is pretty strong, not gonna lie. Alright, Tanker Clog also really good for extra firepower. Uh, I'm gonna take another Full Moon Howl, to be honest. The Vulnerable is helping us a lot. Yo, Spacesuit is amazing, because that means we're gonna take a lot less damage versus... Uh, versus... Oh, dear God. I'm uh, going to take a lot less damage versus the um, Sages fight as well. Right, this could get kind of dangerous because this fight is gross. But, I mean, we have a lot of AoE stuff as well, so I guess we're probably okay here. I'm uh, just going to gain the barrier, I think, this time around. So we need to do Speed Duel, Asteroid. We do have a lot of barrier to begin with here, so that's pretty helpful. And, uh, oh, I can't spend enough on that anyway, unfortunately, but we will just get the potions in deck. So, yeah. Open Universe, I've already spent on radioactive elements anyway, so it's probably not even that good anymore, but that's fine. Potion, just to gain more stuff. Uh, gonna have to Asteroid Belt into one, which is unfortunate, but that's fine. We'll, we'll just do that. Do have the Speed Door, which is good. Ready for burst. Um, probably do just do that. And then, well, we can try again. Draw some more cards. Uh, product is good, and that's probably a good finish. Got a lot of shades, uh, shadows, like in the in the deck now, which is not so great. But we have some barrier going for us, which is fun. And well, uh, devoured size is probably all right. Ah, we got rid of one of them. That's that's good. Let's go here. Flip. Flip. Would like to would like to hit the other one at any time, you know, that would be nice as well. Just just saying. I guess we're still fine. I think you're gonna get killed now by the uh, the other bit, so just do that, do that, and then here, then poison takes her out. Yeah, good. I have to stop lazing around now. So yeah, now she, she has a bit of a heal, which is annoying, but whatever. I don't care. Ready for best. And uh, shoot. And that gives us a draw, so we can go shoot. Get Borrow up here as well, which is fine. This can shoot twice. Uh, do I want the card draw? Yeah, kind of. See what we can get. Uh, there. Doesn't quite get there, but that is fine. We'll do that one so I can do that. And then, uh, yeah, we'll block a bit more. Okay. So we're not gonna, we're really not gonna take damage for the rest of this fight at least, which is fine. I don't have enough mana to really do anything this turn, unfortunately. So I guess we'll just use the shield. Probably should have just jaded. Didn't really have anything to do there. I maxed out on power again, by the way, which is pretty solid, so that helps. Did that one into there. Got burst mode as well, which is pretty good. Uh, but I guess it doesn't do that much for us here. But it's still good. Do that, do that, and don't bother wasting any more time. This fight is just annoying, because it is a bit slow. But we do have multi-hits. Oh, okay, no, 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 this is fine. 
this is fine. I shouldn't have done that bit, but it's okay. We'll get the potion, and then the potion can just kill the fight. Right. Bleh. Should have just done open universe to begin with, but whatever. Yeah, long fight is long. Probably the longest of the thing. I don't need any of those. Uh, shooting the moon is not terrible, but uh, I do not like this, but whatever. Sometimes when you take events, you do just get bad ones to show off, obviously. So, yeah, borrow. Uh, gotta give you that now. And let's see. Oh, Dormy. Uh, also kind of a slow fight, but I guess we've, we've got a lot that we can work with here. So we're probably fine. Uh, full moon into that. And... To that. It's pretty good. Uh, ooh, don't have enough to do everything with it, so I was gonna try and light the furnace here, but we don't have enough for that. So instead, we'll just have to do a play like that instead. That's fine. Totally respectable. She's still got vulnerable on her now as well. We go asteroid. She's good. Uh, unfortunately, don't really have a lot to do with it. I guess this can be a spot turn because she's got vulnerable and we do double damage here. Yeah, 87 is still pretty strong, so yeah. Unfortunates have to lose that much mana, but that's fine. Take a little bit less from the spacesuit and then we can go that into laser, into crucible, and then we do need to block a little bit here, so we will do that, and devour desire, why not? Yep, why not indeed, because we do get access to some extra stuff. That. And then this, because that gets us into first, right? Yep, sure does. So we can go radioactive. And take her out. Cool. And we got the healing from Devour Desires as well, which is nice. Mighty Sharku doesn't really do anything for us anymore. None of these are good enough, so we won't take them. And uh, upgrade, I don't freaking know, upgrade that because it gives us more stuff, I guess. There's a lot of the cards I want to upgrade, but there's just not enough time to, to do it all, so yeah. Uh, Alright, let's go radioactive first here. Into that, into craft, alright. Uh, into this one. And then we'll finish off with the shit. Get a charge point. Okay. Let's see where we go from here. Get our radiances into the dare, into the thing, which is annoying, but it's fine. Uh, asteroid belt galore. That's where we go from here. So burst mode incoming. Uh, we want this one, I think. So we can do that. And then just use this now so we don't take as much damage. That seems like a relatively good turn. Probably could have done better if I used the flammable laser first, but it's okay. Alright, uh, first. Omen Howl. And you. And that's about as good as it's gonna get. Not the greatest of turns, I will admit, but we've got so much health and stuff here, it's still fine. Uh, let's go this one. Do things that way. Not really too much extra to do with that, but it's fine. Another Radiance, doesn't really matter. Main sort of bit here is now we're in burst mode again, and the potion will just take her out. Perfecto. And that's Junko defeated, who I have not fought in this thing yet. Xenocard. I do have an activation of the bomb, and if I get it, then I can go ahead and do so much work with that. Uh, yep, definitely grab that. Grab that, I guess. Uh, Speed Duel is fine. Luminous Shroom is really good. Borrow Material is probably fine. Debuffs might be necessary. Upgrade Waste to Exile from Anywhere. Uh, I guess that Marky Notes is fine to get an extra block here. And uh, move on to upgrade. I don't freaking know. Probably just speed duel so that it doesn't cost me any mana. Alrighty, final fight. Let's see what we can do. 
It's already looking pretty reasonable here, but uh, we've got a lot of firepower to begin with. Uh, start with that. So we don't take any damage at the moment from if we're like just doing a normal stuff with it, but yeah, we don't exactly have a lot to, to go on on this first turn, so it's unfortunate that we're just going to have to hold this, but we'll make it work. The cup, so all of our stuff up here goes away, that's kind of annoying. Where's our radioactive? There it is. Get that going. So our spacesuit's going away here, that's the, the problem. And then this one... That into belts. To this. Probably want to just borrow as well for, for later. Uh, you can still take a reasonable bit of damage, so let's see if we can do something about that. Uh, barrier. Belts. I uh, probably should have done belt first, but oh well, I did not. Uh, we'll go for the shade, sure. And that one. Okay, no more power to be gained off of our stuff here, which is a shame, but that's fine. Uh, just a knife going as well, I guess, is kind of annoying, but we should be okay. Waste utilization, where are the shades? Get rid of those. And then laser. I did this in the wrong order again. Uh, I guess it doesn't matter because of that, right? Okay. There and light furnace. Go here. Get our rainbows up. Because I think that's kind of important here. Laser. And more shot. There. And we can't do damage to her, so let's just block with the last bit. Okay. No more leaky ladle either, so we can't get extra draw off of these, unfortunately. Uh, but I think we just win this turn, probably, so we should be fine. Yeah, I don't really see a world where we don't win this turn, to be honest. So we get a draw. And into burst mode. And blip. Yeah. Nice! Good times, good times. How this too full? Yep. <laughs> And there it is, perfect instant resolution. Didn't even use the bomb in the end, because our deck was just kind of insane, if I'm being honest. So, yeah, that was that was fun. And definitely a lot quicker than the average sort of bit with that. Let's take a look-see, because obviously didn't get the achievement, because I already have that. What was it like? Uh, 38. Yeah, so about the same. Uh, the only thing, I messed up on the Junko thing, so I shouldn't have taken that in the first place. That's why we had to do a restart there, but I don't really think that's too bad. Yeah, 38 minutes. Pretty, uh, pretty alright. Uh, I know Ray has done one of these in less than half an hour, which was kind of absurd, to be honest. But I'm also just not that quick at clicking the things. There is also a setting that I am not using with the stuff, uh, which I think would affect things here. Because you can do turbo mode to make animations play much faster, so if you can keep up with it, you could definitely do things quicker that way. I just don't care for that, because I think the game runs fast enough already for me, so I am totally fine with that. But yeah, what a what an interesting finale sort of run with that. Really fun stuff, I think almost everything kind of came into play through, throughout that too. Lots of asteroid belt helps a ton, and yeah, it was just fun. So. Hopefully you enjoyed this as well, uh, once again probably going into hibernation with this whilst we get the uh, next update and stuff going on. There was a lot of money gained in this too, that's kind of nice. But yeah, thank you for watching, and until next time, take care everyone.